Youth App Lab was a winner of the 2010 MacArthur Foundation Digital Media and Learning Competition. Uh, we started classes in October 2010, and our last day of classes is actually this coming Thursday. Um, so it was designed to pretty much teach um, middle and high school students in the District of Columbia about programming. Um, the idea came around in terms of a broadening participation in computing effort, um, just to kind of go along with National Science Foundation and other organizations um, across the country, um, pretty much trying to introduce African American students into STEM. Uh, and so this was my chance to actually make a contribution. We won the competition and uh, we've been going at it ever since. App Inventor is basically a component of, I'd say one of four major components. Um, most of our students, uh, when we first started, didn't know what programming was. They didn't know what coding was. Um, some of them couldn't even tell the difference between software and hardware, so we had to start there, okay? <laughs> so we had this really broad conversation about technology, what it was, how it worked. Um, for about two months, we allowed them to ask us questions about anything they wanted. Hacking, piracy, why was that illegal? I mean, we talked about all sorts of things. We gave every student a cricket phone, um, an Android phone, and um, we allowed them to just uh, browse the market. A lot of them had cell phones, but they didn't have smartphones. And so uh, they just were told to explore apps and pay attention to the ones they liked, the ones they didn't. We later used that in a more narrow focused conversation about the mobile verse, is what I call it. And, uh, you know, what makes mobile work? Why is it so popular? Where our program fits in it? And then we started to ask them questions about what types of apps they like and what they didn't. And we use that information to basically kind of guide them towards creating their own apps. So App Inventor came uh, at that point where it was time to design their own apps. Our classes are housed at Howard University um, in their computer science department, and which was a great blessing. We didn't realize it, but we had all these computer science majors coming in and telling, talking to the students about how this is a great opportunity and they wish they had it when they were young. And so that was a resource that you know, we constantly have visitors coming in and telling the students about how, how beneficial the class was. And so they started to pay attention to that uh, more than we thought they would. And they began to ask questions about what was it like to be a computer science major. And so that just was an added bonus in terms of uh, when you start this programming thing and things don't uh, all, always go the way you plan, you know, there are other people who are feeling the same frustration and you can kind of ask them how they dealt with it and things of that nature. We started with Scratch and um, we actually, it was a great transition in terms of it's the same uh, blocks editor, so to speak, and the, the bridge basically that we used was we built a mock app in Scratch. And so I felt when the students were ready to uh, they were able to build an app in Scratch, then we were certainly ready to go over into App Inventor. Um, we also had to teach the students um, about uh, graphic design. That was a major resource um, or content area that we had to focus on. Um, but outside, I'm a, I'm a computer scientist. Uh, the co-instructor is also a computer scientist and a Java developer. So we had, uh, in terms of an instruction, uh, standpoint, we had that perspective. The thrill uh, came in waves, right? The first thrill of uh, excitement was, you know, first, wow, there's this world out there that um, we, int we introduced the students to called apps, and we gave them phones, and they were able to explore them. But it was kind of like this off in the distance, oh, this is some game someone created. Um, but when they did the tutorials, it was like, wow, I did it, and I did it in a day. Um, the next wave came when they actually saw their own ideas actually come for, to fruition on the phone. And it was like, you know, maybe it didn't work the way they want it, but it was their idea, it was their app, and they worked hard on it. The third wave came when their parents realized that, hey, my baby, <laughs> you know, my seventh grader, my 10th grader has now just created an app. Also, uh, you know, a world that seems so far away. And so I think uh, constantly, I think I just got an email just yesterday uh, saying, I'm so proud, I'm finished, I'm finished. So uh, the, 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 the thrills is constantly coming coming uh, from all different directions. We have about 17 students, which means there are about 17 different apps. Uh, imagine project managing all of that. Um, but we have a series of learning apps from uh, Arabic letters and numbers to uh, saying let alphabets in different languages, saying numbers in different languages. Um, there's a body parts app designed 
targeted for kids to you know teach about different body parts we have an app inventor tutorial app coming and it should be finished it is finished now but I think um, we might want to polish it up a little bit more uh, we have a, a bunch of games um, and there is uh, wow all of those oh there is an app called accepted where there's a team of seniors who just got between the three of them I think they've got accepted to 21 colleges so they have placed their tips and their advice to other African-American male mostly but anyone applying for college they have um, uh, basically gave their tips freshman sophomore junior and senior year in this app called accepted towards applying to college and getting accepted um, so that is a really nice app.